Adobe just announced an exciting new AI feature coming to Photoshop that allows you to select any part of your image, write a bit of text to explain what you would like to see there, and Photoshop will automatically generate the visual content for you and insert it into your image. It's called Generative Fill. It's really powerful. It's not perfect, but it is a ton of fun to play with, and you can already try it out for yourself right now using the Photoshop beta. In this quick video, I want to show you how Generative Fill works and why I'm so excited about it. So hang on to your dentures and let's jump right into it. If you don't yet have the beta version of Photoshop installed, you can open up your Adobe Creative Cloud app, navigate to the Apps tab, and on the left-hand side, you should find a section for beta apps. From here, you'll be able to install the Photoshop beta version, and then you can access all of the upcoming features, including Generative Fill. Once you're in the Photoshop beta, you'll notice this new floating taskbar here. It's called the Contextual Taskbar. If you can't see it, come up to the main menu and select Window Contextual Taskbar to enable it. Now, you can either use the quick buttons to auto-magically select the subject in your image or remove the background, or simply use the usual selection tools to select the part of the image that you want to replace. Then click on Generative Fill. In the, well, rather small text box that appears, type what you would like to see in the selected area of your photo. For example, let's type beautiful hiking trail, Annapurna Trek Scenic Mountains, and then hit Generate. Photoshop will now generate three potential image inserts for you that you can then cycle through via the arrow buttons. In your Layers window, you will also see a new Generative Layer layer that contains the actual generated overlay. If you're happy, you can simply move on or you can give the generation a thumbs up or down to feed back to the Adobe AI. If you want more options, you can modify the text prompt and then click Generate again and the process repeats to give you a further three options to choose from. In my opinion, Generative Fill is much more powerful than Content Aware Fill as it's not trying to fill the selected area by deriving pixels from the surrounding areas, but it actually generates new image data to fit into the selected area instead. Now, this doesn't work perfectly all the time. Not all generated options will match. Sometimes you can work around that by simply filling it a little bit more than you need to and cleaning up the edges or adjusting the color a little bit to blend the overlay into the image. Sometimes you just need to generate a new set of options or tweak your text prompt. Sometimes you get this strange error telling you that Photoshop didn't actually understand what you wanted it to generate. Or that, like me, you just can't spell English. Also, note that you can't really generate any fantasy elements. The AI is very much trained to things that you'd actually see in the real world. But even in its current form, Generative Fill is a really powerful new feature, and I'm really excited for it to become part of the official Photoshop release, hopefully with the next major version. And if you can't wait, you can access and try it out right now using the Adobe Photoshop beta. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All in any comments, questions or suggestions down in the video description. And with that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.